So I wanted to talk a little bit today about letting go. Letting go of things, you know, we're here on Friday and it's like everybody's like, yay, it's Friday, right? And, uh, you know, work is done. But is it? Have you really let go? Let's talk about that after the intro. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love, what we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. One of the biggest challenges that um, I have had in my life, and um, maybe you've experienced this as well, is it's, you know, seven, eight o'clock and, you know, you're hanging out with the family and you're wondering about a task from work. So you're there, but you're not really there. You're still at work. You're still sitting in front of your computer, even though you're physically somewhere else. I used to do that all the time. Um, it, it was the, it was kind of a, a funny thing because I would like, I, I would be done with work. Right. And so I was supposed to be done with work and spending time with the family, but I was thinking I was with my family, but thinking about work. But then also during the day when I was supposed to be working, I was thinking about my family and how I need to be spending more time with them. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like when I was supposed to be working, I was thinking about family. When I was supposed to be with family, I was thinking about work and it just, I was always kind of a, a distracted and pulled in different directions. And so what I wanted to, to ask you to strive for, how, how's that, is be where you are. And when you're not at work anymore, let go of work. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's the be here now kind of thought process. That's what I'm doing. Let me put my focus on that. And that's one of the reasons why I try not to have my mobile device at my desk because, you know, it's distracted. It's easy to pick it up and look at, you know, whatever, you know, social media notification or, you know, Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. You know, or a text message that's come in or email, right? It's let's stay focused on what I need to do right now. Right. And then when you come to the end of your day, you know, today is Friday. We've got the weekend coming up. When you stop work, really stop work. You know, I, I, you know, one of the challenges of, you know, working from home, which a lot of people are doing now, which I did for almost two decades, um, is that it's so easy to just, well, I can just go check my email or I'll just, you know, I, I can constantly be working, you know, and with your smart devices, you know, email is always available. You know, Teams and messaging is always available. And what I would suggest is that you set times, you know, unless you are absolutely bound to it by work, is to disconnect and to turn off the notifications for work-related emails, Teams messages, me you know, whatever messaging things that you have, and truly disconnect from work and be fully present in your personal life, whether it's with your family, whether it's just for you, you need to disconnect from work. And so, you know, I guess my ultimate message here is truly 
be focused on where you are in time. When you're at work, focus on work. When you're at home, focus at home. When you're doing your meditation, when you're doing your self-care, truly be there and try not to be worried about work and other things, right? Let it go. And that will help you find a lot of peace. It will make you more efficient when you are at work and it will make you so much more accessible and so much more present for the people in your life when you come home. So that's it. Be where you are and let go of where you're not. That is how we live our life to the third power. Till tomorrow, my friends. Thank you for listening to the Third Power Life podcast. Before you go, one quick question for you. Where are you on the path of life? Are you just drifting through your life? Are you fully in command somewhere in between? Well, you can find out where you are now by taking my new commander survey. It will tell you where you are on your growth journey and how to move yourself to the next level. You can find the link on the screen or in the show notes. Now, all I want to know now is, where do you stand?